Okay. The reason we've come here is because Creamy Kareem, Creamy Kareem, uh, spends quite a lot of time hanging out on the high street. Yeah. He even mentions something that we've just uh, taken a picture of, the plaque to H.G. Wells, who was born in a house at the top end of the high street. Yes. Well, that site there, yeah. which is now a Primark, yeah. <laughs> is a, a great psychogeographic note, I would say. It's like a sort of cultural ley line. Yeah. Hotspot. Yeah. We've got H.G. Wells. H.G. Wells. And then I found on... Um, Bromley Civic Society dot org yeah, dot UK. Very good. I use those when I was talking about the David Bowie's house. Yes. Well, they've got a lot of stuff about David Bowie. They're They're unsurprisingly, not unsurprisingly, but they do talk about Primark in Bromley High Street to say that it used to be Medhursts. Yes. David Bowie on the way home from school very much liked to buy all his records there. There was a listening booth there, so his musical education started at uh, at Medhurst on the wow. site where H.G. Wells was born Wow Bowie was born Wow into Bob culture David Jones became David Bowie well not only did he get an interest in music there I noticed there's a there's an um, an interview with him where he talks about the fact that the, the record department there was run by a wonderful married couple Jimmy and Charles there wasn't an American release they didn't have or couldn't get quite as hip as any London supplier I would have had a very dry musical run if it were not for this place. Wow. But he says, Jane Green, their counter-assistant, took a liking to me, and whenever I would pop in, which was most afternoons after school, <laughs> so I have to talk like that, anyway, she would let me play records in the sound booth. <laughs> Jane would often join me in the sound booth, and we would smooch big time to the sound of Ray Charles. Wow, is Jane Green her real name? Shouldn't this woman get some kind of plaque herself? This was very exciting as I was 13 or 14 and she would be a womanly 17 at that time. Wow. I wonder if she's still around. Charles let me buy at a huge discount in order to build a fab collection. Fab. Happy days. Jane Green. Not bad, eh? Well, I wonder if she's still out there So it's a very important site. So.